So please join me in welcoming to the podium Morgan George. Thank you, President Joseph, and welcome to our distinguished guests, faculty, staff, families, friends, and of course, fall class of 2021! Yeah! <laughs> uh, my apologies. I didn't practice that with a hat on. <laughs> my name is Morgan George, and as someone who dropped out of high school in 10th grade, I never thought I would see this day. I mean, when you drop out of high school, you don't exactly have expectations for college. But after leaving high school, I joined the United States Army for just over eight years. But after having my daughter, Danny Lee, I decided the military life was no longer for us. I was dumped into what we know as the civilian world. I was able to get a decent job in research as a veterinary technician, but it offered no upward mobility because of my lack of education. It was then I decided I wanted to pursue a bachelor's degree, and I knew I wanted to be involved in research, but the research I wanted to be a part of, I had no experience in. Me and my daughter joked saying, I just wanted to save the world. It came to find out that this was actually called environmental science, and it's through this discipline that I wanted to be a part of making our world just a little better. This is when I decided to undertake the journey at GDC. I toured the GG cam GDC campus before applying, and the main questions I had were all about non-traditional students, since I was one. On that first tour, every faculty member I met assured me that GGC is very accepting of non-traditional students, not only getting into the college, but scheduling classes that would fit our needs. The freshman orientation only solidified that fact. One thing that the GGC's past president said during that time, he said, it doesn't make a difference if you go to college. A lot of people go to college. It makes a difference if you succeed, finish, and graduate from college. With him saying that, I knew I didn't want to just go to college. I wanted to succeed and graduate from college for me, for my daughter, and for our futures. So that was the beginning of my journey. I was doing evening classes full time. I was being a single mom full time and working that 40 hour work week full time. At the end of that freshman semester though, I knew something had to give, even though I made the president's list. I was only seeing my daughter on average 45 minutes a day, which to me is unacceptable. But I believed I could do this college thing. I wanted to prove to myself and to my daughter that I could do this. So I quit my job. Now, quitting your job isn't something I would recommend for everybody. But for me, I had that veteran status, so I was able to use that GI Bill for financial support, which I am so grateful for. But I wanted to solely focus on being a student, being a great mother and a great role model to my daughter. Quitting my job allowed me to fully immerse myself in school. I was actually able to take advantage of the AEC, which is the only way I made it through calculus. I was, I was able to serve as the vice president of the biology club. I actually was able to take part in peer supplemental instruction groups, which again, if that wasn't how I did it, I don't know how I would have got through chemistry. I was also able to take on two separate National Science Foundation funded research experience for undergraduates during my summer semesters here, which is a long and fancy way of saying, I got two awesome summer internships. One was out of marine biology, out of Savannah State University and Skidaway Institute of Oceanography. The other was out of UGA's microbiology, microbiology department. And for someone with my majors, this was amazing opportunities. I was also able to meet with faculty and staff at ice cream socials and other events to understand all the options that were out there for me and what I could be capable of. I can't tell you how much I appreciated their advice and encouragement. In fact, the mentors I have found here at GGC have led me down amazing paths. Not one faculty member instilled doubt or discouragement. They told me which classes to take, which not to take, and more importantly, how to survive and find a job after college life. I know many of you feel the same way. We are truly fortunate to have faculty who really care about us and take such an active part in helping us succeed. Class of 2021, please join me with a round of applause thanking our faculty.
but we all know there's another group we need to thank. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it seemed the only one I could do this, was, or who doubted I could do this, was me. I was lucky to have the unwavering support from my daughter and my parents through this journey. I will always be grateful to you, Mom and Dad, and to you, Danny Lee. <laughs> I love you guys. Class of 2021, your families and friends were behind you in your educational journeys, too. Whether they are here in the arena or watching us from home, I invite you to thank them now. Thank you. The journeys we have gone here at GGC have not been easy by any means. It seemed every semester was filled with its ter own turmoil, even before the COVID shutdown, which I know for everyone was hard. But for me and my daughter, both having to go to classes with only one laptop made it a little tougher for us. But even through that, we made it work, and so did you guys. I was determined I would do this, and now, finally, I have. We all have. And because of our experiences here at GDC, I have been able to obtain a UGA position in a PATH lab with hopes of entering a graduate program there in the near future. Me, the girl who dropped out of high school at 16 and became a single mother at 22 and graduating from college. Everyone here today has a story, and you should be extremely proud that you guys have come this far and that we did it through all those troubles, all those online classes. Look, y'all, we made it! We actually made it! I am proud of every single one of you. Now, let's go do something great.